These plays have the highest chance to make you some money today. This is the Daily Profit brought to you by Linemaker Sports. On today's show, we're going to go through the plays that have a 60 to 70% probability of winning, and we're going to spend a whole segment on the World Series. So make sure you guys stick around for that. I'm going to give you all the bets in the World Series tonight of what you could play on. So let's start in the NBA right off the bat. We got Anthony Davis. He's got a 69% probability to go under 46.5 points, rebounds, and assists. It's a pretty high number. All right, and they are going against the second best team at guarding the center position. So they're going against Cavaliers. The high, that is a very high number, 46 and a half. He can surpass those type of numbers. I think when he has better matchups, though, going against the Cavs, they should have some resistance against the center position, guarding at second best. So this is a good probability at 69% to go under 46 and a half because he has to have one of those games where he has 25 plus. 14 rebounds, five assists, like those type of, he needs one of those type of games. So if they can, you know, have some resistance against him, he could definitely get under that number. So definitely a good option there for Anthony Davis to go under that 46 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Now let's get to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, this is in the same game. He's got a 65% probability to go over 31 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. He's going against the 18th best team at guarding the shooting guard position, which is the Lakers. And that's not too good. All right, 18th best is not too good. It's trending towards the bottom of the league a bit. So he has an opportunity to definitely surpass that 31.5 PRA. Most of his PRA is going to come from points because he gets somewhat decent amount of assists, not too many rebounds, but he can score for sure. He can put up 30-plus any given night. So he will have a good opportunity tonight against the Lakers, who don't guard that position that well. So decent probability for Donovan Mitchell at 65%. Now let's talk about Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson has a 67% probability to go over 34.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He could use a stat sheet stuffer when he wants to be. All right, He could definitely get points, rebounds, and assists surpass that number. They're going against the 20th best team at guarding the point guard position. So the probability is in his favor tonight as well. So pretty good there. All right, so Jalen Brunson, I would say decent option as well. Now let's talk about LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball, he seems like he's on the show at least twice a week that we're talking about him. So he's got a 63% probability to go under 44.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He's going against the 10th best team at guarding the point guard position. So they should have some resistance against LaMelo. He is a stat sheet stuffer. He can get points, rebounds, and assists. He can get triple doubles. They just got to have some resistance against him because you still got to have a pretty good game to surpass 44.5 PRA. So against one of the better teams at guarding the point guard position, they should have some resistance there. The probability is lower, and that's the reason why, because he still is a stat sheet stuffer regardless of the team that he's going against. So that's the lesser of the probability of everybody we were talking about there for LaMelo Ball. We do have some better options probably to go to other than LaMelo, but he is an option, all right? He is an option that's out there with a higher PRA number. Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about the $1,000 giveaway. Every Friday, I'm going to be giving away $1,000 cash to a subscriber, and all you got to do is comment GOAT down below and just tune in on Fridays. And if you win and you see your name, guess what? You win $1,000. It's that simple. So make sure you guys go and do that. We're doing that every Friday till the end of the year. That's a way for me to give back to everybody that watches the show, that watches all my videos, that join the program, all that stuff. So make sure you guys go and do that. And every Friday, we will select a winner live, and you guys will see exactly how that works out. Now let's talk about the World Series, all right? <clears throat> World Series tonight. Let's talk about every batter that has a decent matchup and that doesn't have a decent matchup. So everybody obviously wants to talk about Otani, all right? He hasn't been playing too well in the last couple of games. So Otani, he's batting 214 against Garrett Cole. They're putting Derek, Garrett Cole up there. So Yankees are putting Garrett Cole. He's got a 66% probability to get a hit, but he doesn't bat too well against Garrett Cole. So if you were trying to go with Otani to get a hit here, you might want to surpass. Maybe you could get way better odds if his first at bat he doesn't get a hit, and then you could jump on him probably at plus money. Because you kind of want him to go into the bullpen and face the bullpen rather than facing Garrett Cole, because 214 is not that good. 
So let's talk about Mookie Betts, though. Mookie Betts batting 350 against Garrett Cole and has a 71% probability to get a hit. So there we kind of got a decent option for a hit right off the bat because he bats pretty good against Garrett Cole and overall has a solid probability as well. So that's a decent option tonight for Mookie Betts to at least get a hit. And then we're going to talk about Freddie Freeman. This guy has been insane for the World Series. All right, seems like he's getting a home run every single game. He's batting 348 against Cole. So the Yankees don't get any time off tonight against for, you know, going against Freddie Freeman. He's batting 348 against Cole. He has a 68% probability and I just got to say this guy is the hottest guy right now in the World Series. So you would definitely have to probably ride him regardless. You'd have to ride it out, all right, and go with him to get at least one hit. And then the guy that's batting the best in the lineup which is kind of maybe a surprise, is Kike Hernandez. He's batting 391 against Garrett Cole, but he only has a 58% probability to get a hit overall. So he has a good matchup, but if he doesn't end up getting a hit off his first couple of bats against Garrett Cole, that probability obviously is going to go way, way, way down. All right, so I think personally you got better options for the hitter, as in Freeman and in Betts, rather than going with either Otani or with Kike. Now, let's talk about the pitcher for the Dodgers, Jack Flaherty. He's got a 57.14% chance to go under two and a half earned runs. Not really, there's, there's really nothing there for that. You really can't do much with that, all right? It's pretty much a 50-50 almost. And that's him going against teams that bat top 10 in the league, which like the Yankees do. So you pretty much got a 50-50 shot for the under two and a half there for the earned runs. I didn't look at the odds yet. I'm sure the odds for him to go under two and a half are like minus 180 or whatnot. So it doesn't really line up with the percentage of probability. So I wouldn't suggest really nothing there for him for the under two and a half earned runs. So on this side of the ball, I would say the best probabilities are probably going to be with Mookie Betts to get a hit and Freddie Freeman to get a hit. Now let's move on to the other side here. Let's talk about the Yankees a bit. All right. So Gluber, Gluber, Glaber, however you say it, Torres, he's batting 333 versus Flaherty. All right. He has a 61% probability. So that's pretty decent. That's a decent mix there. A 61% probability with batting pretty well. Decent. All right. Not the best, but I would say that's pretty decent. Now, Anthony Rizzo is batting 435 against Flaherty. All right. And he has a 66% probability. So that right there, just because he's batting 435, that gives you a pretty decent option for him to get a hit. So definitely something to look at there for hitters for the Yankees. Now, one hitter that you might maybe want to avoid that is a, a good hitter is Juan Soto. He's only batting 182, though, against Flaherty. But he has a 69% probability to get a hit overall. Why? Because he's one of the top players on the Yankees, obviously. And he's not batting too well, though, against Flaherty. So if... You know, I would hate to say, like, fading Juan Soto. Like, I, I don't want to say that. I don't want to put that out there and say fade Juan Soto because next thing you know, he'll have a home run his first at bat. But uh, definitely better options to go to for over, you know, 0.5 hits to get at least one hit. So I would think you could pass on Juan Soto for that. Rizzo, possibly. Torres, possibly. And then on the Dodgers side, obviously, you got two hitters in Betts and Freeman that you could roll with. And then Garrett Cole, he has a 62% probability to go under two and a half earned runs. That's going against the top 10 batting teams in the league, such as the Dodgers. He has obviously the better shot than Flaherty to be able to go under that two and a half. But it's Garrett Cole in the postseason. Sometimes he's known to choke. All right, just to be honest, sometimes he's known to choke in the playoffs. He might go out and he might give up three or four. I doubt that the, they would let him, that Boone would let him get rocked. I would think if he gets in trouble, he's getting pulled out of there because this is an elimination game, so they're going to empty the tank out of whatever they can. So that is a good option for you because of that. They could pull him if he gets in a little bit of danger and gives up maybe two earned. So definitely something to look at for the under two and a half earned runs. That's something to look at when it comes to postseason baseball. You guys can learn from this for next year is a lot of times with the pitchers, you can get value at the under two and a half because – the manager wants to pull them early because they're getting in trouble. So that's something that definitely in the World Series is definitely viable. All right. So Garrett Cole under two and a half earned runs, 62% probability, and could possibly be even a better probability because the manager might pull him early 
if he gets in trouble. Now let's go ahead and talk about the F-bombs for today. F-bombs, I got an NBA 86% F-bomb, another 80% F-bomb in the NBA, and then a 77% F-bomb in the NHL with a question mark because we don't know if this guy's playing or not yet. All right, so this happens sometimes. What you guys see on here, this, this show is earlier in the day. So sometimes those players, somebody sits out or whatnot that has a good probability, and then you end up not seeing it in the group. That just happens, because I've got questions on that sometimes. People are like, how come I've seen it on the show, but sometimes it's not in there? Well, that's why, because sometimes the player's not playing, so obviously you can't play it. All right, but let's go through our NBA slate one more time so we can talk about that. All right, Anthony Davis, again, 69% probability to go under 46 and a half. That's solid. I think going against one of the best teams that guard in the center position, I think that one's that's a pretty good one. Donovan Mitchell, same thing here. If... Uh, you know, Donovan Mitchell can score points. He could definitely surpass that number. Going against a, a team that's not guarding that shooting guard position at the best in the league. All right, so let's work our way to Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson, 67% probability to go over 34.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He's going against one of the worst at guarding that point guard position. So then we got the $1,000 Fridays. Make sure you guys comment GOAT down below so that way you have a chance to win a thousand dollars all right world series the best options here are going to be mookie Betts, going to be freddie freeman to get at least one hit and then when we go to the yankees the best options probably anthony rizzo there maybe torres maybe all right and then garrett cole under that two and a half which i wouldn't mind because i think boone would pull him if he gets in trouble early and kind of save him from getting three earned runs there all right and then the F-bombs, like I said, 86% and 80% NBA and a possible 77% NHL F-bomb. All right, guys, as always, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. This is The Daily Profit. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's show. Till then, I'm out.